originating from the Native Americans in the 12th century, lacrosse is a contact sport that tests a player's strength, toughness, endurance, discipline, and teamwork. It is a sport that demands effort and dedication from all that participate. Lacrosse is on the rise more than ever since its dawning nearly 1,000 years ago, and in 2020, Lewis University and some of its students took part in establishing the first ever lacrosse team in the school's history. Now three years in, we take an inside look at what it means to be a lacrosse player and how this team has grown since its inception. So I started playing lacrosse when I was about in fourth grade. I was playing hockey, soccer, and baseball at the time, and baseball was just getting really slow for me and I needed like a more sped up game. So a couple of my hockey buddies started playing lacrosse, thought I'd give it a shot, I quit baseball. Started playing with all my teammates. You know, I kind of just grew from there, joined a couple club teams. As soon as we got to high school, it kind of just all exploded from there. I started playing lacrosse when I was around seven. I actually played baseball as well. I played baseball, box lacrosse, hockey, and football. So growing up, I was always on the move, but then I actually ended up quitting baseball and I played field lacrosse then. And I started out as a FOGO, an offensive midi. I've played every position on the lacrosse field. Defender, now obviously I'm a goalie now, which just kind of stuck. I switched to goalie around my eighth grade year. So that was kind of a big change for me because I escalated at the position so fast. The reason I picked Lewis was because it was a newer program. My high school was a fairly newer high school, so there wasn't a whole lot of years prior to me going there that there was a, a lacrosse program. So it was really cool to be in high school and kind of build a legacy at a school. And then, you know, coming in and being a freshman at just a two-year program at a college was very similar. It was, you know, newer than my high school experience was. But it was cool to kind of be a part of the legacy that we're building here and being a part of that championship mindset and just the community that we've brought here. Well, I started playing lacrosse in about sixth grade. Kind of a funny story. Picked up like a plastic lacrosse stick in my garage. Not really knowing what the sport was at the time. I think it was like a year later, I actually had a neighbor down the street that played at Colorado College, and he actually gave me my first real lacrosse stick, and he would play catch with me on his free time. He actually gifted me like my first ever lacrosse stick that I could call my own. And from there, it just kind of took off. My team here is kind of like a second family. I had a family member pass in the last two years. I live about two and a half hours away, and when we had the wake, my whole team showed up for it. Even previous coaches weren't at the program anymore. Some of them did show up as well. So yeah, you could, you could say that this team is like a second family to me, and that's just really, really special to have. I always knew once I like, got to high school I wanted to play college across. My role model would be my dad. He inspires me every day, just watching him day in and day out. I think growing up he really instilled in me that if you're gonna do the work, you might as well do it 100%, and there's no reason to do it halfway. I think one of, my dad's been my biggest supporter and also my biggest critic, so gotta thank him for that too. We always like to do stuff off the field. That's one of the greatest things about being at Lewis and being a part of this team is just the way we interact with each other off the field and the way we actually do things together. You know, we have seniors hanging out with freshmen. We have a couple guys on our team that are, you know, mid-20s, 24, 25, 26, um, and they'll sit there and hang out with guys that are 18 years old. So that part of our team is very special to a lot of us. One of the best things about being on the lacrosse team at Lewis is friendship and the bond that we all share on and off the field. Because, you know, when we're always on the field, we, we love to compete, we love to chirp each other, we love to get under each other's skin, kind of make each other mad. But, you know, five minutes after that happens, we sit there and we say, all right, that was a good play, like, let's make the next one. But then off the field, the, the team aspect that we have here at Lewis is like no other. We're a family, we all stand by that. You know, these will be the friends and the brothers that I remember for the rest of my life. Yes. Bang. 
Bang! I'd say I'm still at Lewis because of the, the friendships I've made. I think this is all bigger than lacrosse. The thing that drove me here to Lewis was the guys. I can tell you guys are all super close and value each other more than just on a lacrosse field. The guys we live with in our dorms and you see on the weekends, those are the things you're gonna remember long after the score of a game. I consider all 47 guys on this team to be my best friends and wouldn't trade any of them for the world. What ride are you guys going on? This is the um, Afterburn. 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 I think our team gels so well together because we've gone through a lot of stuff together, a lot of hard times, and you know, it, it could be anywhere from bad playing conditions, you know, five in the morning, conditioning sessions and, and lifts and you know, those aren't necessarily the most fun things in the world. You know, they're they're necessary for you to get stronger and be a better player. Usually a typical practice week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Practice is usually from 2.15 to about 4.30. We also have a lift at 5 to 6, which sometimes gets exchanged for like personnel. So we'll go over scout and film for the other team or even our team, depending on the game. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have practice at 3. Monday and Tuesdays are big focus days for us. So we always like to focus on ourselves. And like we'll do a lot of one on ones just to try and, you know, get energy up, be physical. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are more, you know, take it easy, focus on the next game plan, you know, pretty heavy in the first first few days. And then we lighten up so we can get ready for the game. And that way we don't suffer any injuries and stuff like that. Come on, Scoop. Yes, Shives, yes, Shives. On that Shives. Beat that up, Mark. Beat that, Mark. Yeah, what up, 3 6? You have to build a lot of time management to be able to be out at practice and to be keeping up on your schoolwork while also attending classes and making sure. You eat enough every day and drink enough water. There's a lot of things that goes into being a, a student athlete here. And so lacrosse has definitely helped me along the way of being better at time management. Some of the guys, depending on GPA and stuff, we have study hall, but also we always have to, you know, schedule our classes in the morning to about midday so we can go to the practices. So with that schedule for lacrosse, it's it's definitely not the easiest to balance school and a personal life. We often kind of carry rules as a team, like say, you know, when we're not at practice, and we have this one hour policy where we can only talk about lacrosse for one hour while we're not at practice, which doesn't always follow through, depending on various like teams and stuff. I've also learned a lot of discipline. You can't just like give up on everything. You, you have to really work for it, and you know, everything doesn't come easy. One way lacrosse has helped me in other aspects of my life is learning from failure. Whether that be relationships, whether that be school, I think you need to fail in order to grow. Obviously, you're not going to be good at everything the first time you do it, but something else that really taught me was just taking accountability for you know, those mistakes, but also rewarding your success for, you know, when you learn a new skill, learn a new play. Being on the field, being able to either, you know, follow instructions, being able to be coached, but also understanding that you're not necessarily always number one, especially at the collegiate level, knowing your position can always be taken at any point. So you got to always be working hard to keep it. Okay. Because think about it. Well, I just know we emphasized before, before not stepping past that pipe. Here, we only got six inches to cover, right? Six, seven inches on both sides of us, right? So all we need to cover is to here, right? Right to your butt, like to your back heel. I think what's worked well for us this season and a huge strength of our program is just the guys meshing well together. I think we all have the same goal in mind. Our goal is to win a conference championship and then see what happens after that. I'd say one of our biggest strengths is, you know, we work well as a team. It's not me, it's we. And I think that's what we all strive to build upon. I think one thing that we've been struggling a lot recently is just with consistency. You know, some games we have certain guys on our team who play, you know, super well, and then there's other times where we just can't get anything to fall and we're just not consistent with anything. And that really hurts our team because this game is kind of all about consistency and our coach says time after time, like play 60 minutes, you know, it's a 60 minute game. We gotta understand that and get to that sooner so Turbo can sink and be in that lane to that skip that Scooter just threw. Good job, Bo. Run again. This is, at the end of the day, a job. 
and our job is to go out and win. And I think that's really what bonds us. I mean, we're all having fun out there, we're all goofing around, but we know at the end of the day it's about wins. There's roles on the team that everyone needs to fill, and some guys get the first dodge, stir the drink, so other guys can eat. There's nobody behind us, though. Was there? Nate, Nate. Just now, Nate, Nate just caught the ball. Nate comes from creasing those backside. We have a lot of younger guys that's really helped out. They're actually starting to really buy into the whole game plan and you know what our coaches have planned for us. Them in practice being able to push us, especially on the defensive end, has helped a lot of our starters and just kind of the team as a whole get better. We made it to the, our first conference playoff last year for our program history, which was pretty cool to be a part of. Our goal wasn't just to make the playoffs, it was to go out and win the whole thing. So I think that's something we all have in the back of our heads every day when we go out to practice. That's why communicating set is so important. And like you have to understand, for a quick second, as Merwin goes with this carry, Soren and Tyler are still wide. We're gonna start to crush space and get in on this back side. Oh wait, there's a roll off. We gotta get wide again. We gotta get Merwin back in. I think everyone has goals in their head. I think everyone wants to be first team all conference, second team all conference. Everyone has those goals. And I just wanna help the team as much as I can. And if personal accolades come along the way, then you know that's great. It was really cool to see in the past of like where you were to start with and then where it is now four years later to see that you've been there to help guide the program and lead it to where it is today. My favorite moment from playing lacrosse here at Lewis has been our first ever win. I was one of the players that started the program and was on the team the first year it was created and we worked all fall to prepare for this game and you know we finally get to play in a real game, a real college game. We were a bunch of freshmen at the time. It was just a lot of fun to see all that hard work like really pay off in the end. I think one thing that Coach Peruzzi's always instilled into us as a program is leave it better than when you found it and I think we're all doing a great job of that. One thing that's really important for me to kind of leave behind when I'm done with my four years here is the fact that every single year I've been here we have improved. We've gotten better on and off the field just like this locker room. I remember a ton of guys came here with no locker room. Now our coach is talking about potentially having a locker room next to the field. So being able to have more stuff for the future guys that are part of this team and their experience here be better than mine was is something I really hope actually happens. Take that extra step in, make sure he's covered up, go with him that step just to be sure. And if they skip it over the top and shoot it, we'll see what happens. For us, we just have to understand the relationship in the square with the backside. Too. Make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do it. This is just the beginning for a program that aspires for greatness each time they take the field. With each player striving to succeed and be the best version of themselves, we know this team will be in good hands and be an example to follow for years to come.